or WBX Hawk here, and today I'm going to be creating my personal Pikachu 1.1.6 matchup spread. This is going to be like pretty much this and the tier list video are going to be the start of my Smash content, both on my personal channel and on our team at Winbox WBX uh, YouTube channel. So I decided just to start with my main Pikachu, get you introduced so you know who I main for my future videos. And what better, what, better, what better way to introduce a character by discussing matchups. So, first I'm going to be tackling disadvantages and going up towards even and advantages. I might not do it all in one video. So first things first, let's start with the bad news. Disadvantage. Um, probably in my opinion, Pikachu and my worst matchup with Pikachu is definitely Mario. Mario's Nair comes out like frame 3, I think, I'm pretty sure. Either frame 3 or frame 4, which means he can get out of all of my combos, my down throw to up air to Nair, my up air, my up tilts to up air. If he just Nairs because he has enough frames in between my early percent up tilts, he can get out of them. Same with down air. Very disruptive. I uh, hate myself for using this word, but there's I don't know any other words to describe it. His down air is really high priority, and it can both nair, bear, back air, both neutral air, nair, back air, bear, um, and down air, or dare, all can interrupt quick attack, which is my main use of mobility, and pretty much a good chunk of Pikachu's neutral is dashing around with quick attack, getting in and out very fast, um, disrupting movement, and setting up combos using quick attack. Another thing is, another big portion of Pikachu's neutral game is the Thunder Jolt, which is a extremely good projectile normally, but Mario has the Cape, which can knock that back, and he has Cape and Fireball, so we can knock back and cancel out my projectiles, and his projectiles also stall approach, and I believe they also stop quick attack. So pretty much Mario can reflect my projectiles, disrupt my quick attack game, taking away pretty much half of my neutral game, leaving me with uh, spacing fares, running dares, and basically running up for grabs. Also, Pikachu is a light character, which means Mario's up smash will kill early from uh, at about 50%, at about Mario's 50-70%, around 90-100%. to 100 Back throw kills at around 120. So Mario can not only stuff Pikachu's neutral game, but can kill Pikachu pretty early. So... And also, Pikachu can hide it. Uh, the only thing Pikachu has, ugh, the only thing Pikachu has going for him against Mario is edge guarding. Mario's recovery is uh, not the best, and Pikachu can drop a thunder down there. He, um, Pikachu can back air, and it will at the minimum trade. Mar again, another thing Mario trades with a lot of Pikachu's aerials, which is again really annoying, especially because he has higher damage output. And finally, Mario has the combos, which Pikachu can fall into very easily and take you, at, like any character, take you from 0 to 50, and it's especially relevant with Pikachu because two quick, two or three quick combos and then an up smash will kill you. And for that reason, that's why I put Mario as Pikachu's, probably one of Pikachu's worst matchups in the game, if not the worst. And um, as... Before I forget, I'm not going to be covering the Miis, because no one uses... no one cares. <laughs> no one cares about Miis, pretty much. I think, actually, yes, Game & Watch, I'd also say Pikachu's at a pretty good disadvantage. Again, for the same reasons as Mario, very disrupting. Uh, aerials can stuff quick attack with Nair. Um, back airs does a lot of damage. His up B... He can up-be out of Pikachu's combos like Mario can nair, dare, and up-be out of... And Bucket can take Thunder. You can't Thunder Spike him, because if he Buckets, then it's... Bucket's oil will kill you around 50. Full oil, so he can Bucket your Thunder Jolt. He does everything Mario does pretty much to a lesser degree. Taking away some of Quick Attack, taking away some Projectile game. He doesn't really have the combos, but his up smash is also intangible and very annoying. Because when I, at least when I play Pikachu and I'm falling, I try to try to hit on fall, and I can't do that because Game Watch can just follow me around and spam up smash, which is intangible and will also kill early, especially with a little bit of rage. 
So for that reason, I'm going to put Game & Watch as a disadvantage. Those are the only two characters. I think Pikachu has a 60-40 uh, or higher, or a higher than a 60, no, around a 60-40. Or for Pikachu, Pikachu first to be a 40-60. So a pretty, not an extremely bad matchup, but a pretty bad matchup. Now moving on to the next tier, slight disadvantage. I'm going to go ahead and put Dr. Mario in there. Like Mario, he has most of the tools Mario does, except he's just slightly worse. His combos don't connect as well. His down throw angle is different. So he's not quite as bad as Mario, but still not a good fight. <sighs> and then also, in the slight disadvantage, I'm going to go with Ness for a few reasons if I can find his character on here very quick. Ness, 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 Ness. Where is he? There he is. So Ness, he has the PK Absorb or whatever the hell it's called, which is extremely annoying because you can't, takes away the Thunder Jolt aspect of your neutral game. You can't try and catch him with Thunders falling because he can just reaction and heal like 10, 15, 20%, which gets extremely annoying at times. Alike to the Plumbers, his Nair is extremely quick and can get out of most of the up tilt strings. Uh, down throw, up air is probably... You can only get two or three hit combos on him before he has enough time to nair out. He also can kill extremely early back throw again, killing it around 100. Up smash, an up air, killing it around 190. Or not up smash. Up air, killing off the ground at maybe 100-ish. Back throw, I already mentioned back throw. Forward air, strings together decently well. Again, I hate using the word, but just... Uh, pri out prioritizes most of Pikachu's move, especially since his fastest aerial is, I think, his first active frame of fair is frame six. And Ness can come out with his frame four nair and just stuff your approaches, stuff quick attacks. Basically, everything Mario can do, but then again, to a lesser degree. And Pikachu can also has an extremely easy time edge guarding Ness when he's stuck in PK Thunder, just dash out there and fair him. Don't miss, or PK Thunder 2 will probably stage spike or kill you. But if you can get rid of the PK Thunder, or even trade with the PK Thunder 2 with a good, strong, I don't know, Thunder, you can get down there and Thunder Spike, uh, then you're pretty good. I'd say these matchups with slight disadvantages around anywhere from 58, 42 to 54, uh, 46, around 55, 45. Um... There's one more. Ben. Oh yeah, Luigi. Um, again, the plumbers in general stuff Pikachu. Luigi do a lesser degree than everyone else on that list. It's kind of going in this order, so worst matchup to best matchup. The only the reason I say that is because Pikachu, again, really good edge guarding, and Luigi's recovery is not very good. Um, the only thing you gotta watch out for is you can't really edge guard the down B. Luigi's Nair is extremely active, like Mario's Up Smash. Not quite as powerful, but still annoying. His dash attack is probably the most annoying thing in the game. You can stuff your quick attack, but there are definitely ways to work around that and punish it. You can bait it out and punish it. Um, his combos get him a lot of ground. Not as much as Mario's, or even Dr. Mario. Sometimes if Pikachu's quick and can thunder out or quick attack out. But yeah, just not... Not generally a matchup you want to take part in, which pretty much that's about it. Um, now that I think about it, I'm going to put I'm going to put Corin in here as well because Nair can stuff. And again, I'm mentioning a lot of the same things about Ariel's stuffing quick attack. Because quick attack is very important to the Pikachu player because it's a really good way of mobility and can surprise them. Corn's Nair stuffs it up air is extremely good against Pikachu, especially since Pikachu doesn't have the best landing options in the game. Um, let's see. His throws don't really get him much mileage, but the corn, corn shot, corn balls... Uh, nair, up air. Again, basically, <laughs> how many times can I say it? Doing Mario to a lesser degree. And now the final 
uh, slight disadvantage for Pikachu is now most people, most Pikachu players might not say this, but I really think Sonic, especially a campy Sonic, gives Pikachu a really hard time. Because campy Sonics can sit, shield your Thunder Jolts forever, Sam platforms, dash in with a side B, even if you don't get hit. Sometimes it's extremely hard to catch them. And Sonic really just, Pikachu can't control a game. Ugh, a voice crack there. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Uh, Pikachu finds it extremely hard to control the game against Sonic. Sonic pretty much can take it whatever tempo he or she wants. And not so much stuffing quick attack, but it's hard to catch up to Sonic and hard to match the damage output because if Sonic hits you with a spin dash combo 10-15% every time, and if he does that five times, you're already at like 80%. While well, you might catch Sonic three times and do 10% each combo, because he can jump out, he can up be out of most of your strings and combos as well. And down air catches you on the way down. Never fun playing against Sonic as Pikachu. I'd just go someone else, to be quite honest. And that's why I also don't think Pikachu is top 5 or even top 10 anymore. Just because of the de development of everything else. Uh, that wraps it up for disadvantage, slight disadvantage. I think I'm going to end the video here. In part 2, I'm going to talk about advantages, slight advantages. Actually, no, part two, I'll type, talk about even matchups and maybe advantage, slight advantages and advantages if I get there. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, any ideas on matchups for Pikachu. I'd welcome, to, I'd welcome your opinions. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm Isaki X.